In this lesson, we take a look at using the 1 to 100 number chart. So there's our number chart there, the numbers 1 through to 100. Let's start by counting by 1's. We're going to count forwards. So starting at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now we could, of course, continue that on. So you'd be very familiar with that so far. What about if we started at, for example, 52? So 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, and again, we could continue on with that. Let's also look at counting by ones, but this time backwards. So we started at 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, and again we could continue on as far as we needed to. Another useful thing is to be able to count by tens. Let's go forwards to start with, and starting at 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We might not always have to start at 10 though. Let's say we started at 17. From there we'd go 27, 37, 47, 57, 67, 77, 87, and 97. So these sort of patterns you can see, with practice you won't even need the number chart. What about counting by tens, but this time backwards? Starting from 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10. We might not start at 100, we might start at 83. Again, counting by tens backwards. So we're at 83, 73, 63, 53, 43, 33, 23, 13, and finally 3 on the number chart there. So we've seen that we can count by ones, both forwards and backwards, and also we've seen we can count by tens again forwards and backwards. Excellent. Well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your questions.